Ladies and gents, the winner update is out. A brand new slew of player profiles are coming your way. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. So the very first one that we have is a boy called Sievert Mansverk. I love that name. Absolutely love that name. He is contracted to Mold. Molde, I don't know. Uh, in the Norwegian League, only 2 million to 6.2 million rated. 1.7K per week. He is a star player there. 20 years old. And his stats, again, for a lot of the ones that we've seen right now, his stats look fairly bang on average for somewhat of a wonder kid. Uh, you'll see mentals are very good. Anticipation of 15. You got some 14s in there. Positioning of 15 is fantastic. Vision and work rate of 14. All looking very good. Uh, marking and passing also fantastic. So for that DM role and that midfield, everything looks fairly nice, except some physicals are, are lacking a bit. Uh, acceleration of 11 is not great. Pace of 13. We'll see how those grow as time allows. But right now, he has currently got 26 appearances, zero goals for his current club of Molde. Again, apologies. Uh, any career stats? He moved there from Sogndal. 1.5 million. Uh, I can see him definitely moving somewhere else in Europe in just a couple of years. Milestone wise, he's got some cup winners. Uh, the Norwegian champions uh, scored his first senior club debut, uh, made his senior club debut. So, so far he's doing uh, not that bad right now. Now, how's it going to be in 10 years? 10 years on, he is 31 years old, has 91 caps to his name, and has moved to Milan. Uh, actually, he's moved around a little bit, to be honest. Uh, so we'll take a look at that in a minute. But his mentals are fantastic. Positioning of 16, concentration, and anticipation of 16 as well. He's not the most fabulous wonder kid that you've seen, especially at 31 years old. Uh, his acceleration has only grown to 12. His pace has only grown to 14. Stamina of 16 is wonderful. But his tactical is still in the 14s, 15s, 13s. So overall, he's still looking very good. Uh, probably not the best, absolutely. So, you know, he is contracted, like I said, to Milan right now. 125K per week for, as a regular starter through the 2035 season. Uh, I don't know if he would get into, you know, the, the Man Cities, the Real Madrids. But, I mean, maybe as a backup. I don't know. Uh, but overall, I mean, still, AC Milan is a fantastic club to go to. Definitely a much higher standing than Molde was. Uh, but career stats, as you could see, so let's see, uh, 1.5 million to Molde, 7.25 million to Bayern, loaned back to Molde, and then back to Bayern for only five appearances, 6.73, before being loaned out to FC Porto, and then a full transfer, 18.75 million the next season, 26 appearances, 6.9. He has done very well afterwards, uh, 6.74, but sevens above. Uh, something happened in the FC Porto B in 2030-31 season. Maybe he had an injury or something in that season. Uh, but 27 appearances for the full team. 7.27 average rating. It's fantastic. Moved to Milan in 2031 to 32 for 39 and a half million. Uh, 29 appearances this season. 6.99. Not too bad. So yeah, he is going to be getting some games. Um, he probably isn't, like I said, a massive starter uh, for some of these bigger clubs. But... You know, for Milan, who is still a big club, don't get me wrong whatsoever, uh, especially as you've seen, if you've seen my AC Milan save going on in FM23. But overall, would he make it into my squad every single match? I don't know. I think right now that pace is killing me <laughs> for it. So, but he has done very well for himself. If we look at milestones, it has only grown. Norwegian Premier Division Player of the Year, Young Fit Player of the Year, Premier Division Player of the Year, runner up. A lot of cup winners, like I said, uh, Division Best 11s. So he's definitely got a lot in there. Bayern Munich, Bundesliga champions. He only had five appearances, but still. Super Tasha Candido de Oliveira winners. Uh, got a, I mean, FC Porto always going to be up there. First international goal against Israel at age 24 at Norway. Where was his first international appearance? First international cap against Serbia at the age of 20. So it took him four years to get his first goal. But Porto getting cup after cup and just trophy after trophy. Moved to Milan for 30 and a half million up to 39 and a half million. Tim Cup winners the next season. Serie A Tim champions. So they've done, I mean, he's done fantastic throughout his career, going from champion to champion. Uh, Premier League is the only thing he's really missing in France. But injuries, here we go. 2031, a lower back stress fracture is a major one. Six weeks out. 
Uh, but beyond that, he's got some moderates, but pretty much just slights and a couple of minors. So overall, he is not too injury prone whatsoever. Uh, it was 2031 the season that he had issues with. Yes. So there you go. That's why he apparently was moved to FC Porto B for a little while, but came back stronger than ever. 27 appearances in 727. So, and as you can see, he is truly one of world's soccer's global superstars. Uh, in terms of, he is recognized for his talent and achievements with several awards. Norwegian First Division Player of the Year, Norwegian Players First Division Player of the Year, Norwegian Premier Division Young Player of the Year on two occasions, Norwegian Players Young Player of the Year. Uh, so he's got a lot of these things uh, from Norway to Portugal. Uh, he does not have anything in Italy right now, but, you know, again, 31 years old, um, doing very well. Now, I will say this save has taken me forever to get back up and running because, again, this is the winter update. We have all the winter transfers that happened in this save. Uh, and it takes forever to get up, you know, through a single season. And I've had to go through 10 and I'm going to keep on going. So I will be put, you know, posting a few more after this that go through just not 2033, but maybe 2035, 36, whatever. Uh, I'll go on and see how they do until they retire or thereabouts. But for right now, this is all I have for Sievert Manswerk. Uh, and his, yeah, his career looking pretty darn nice. One thing I didn't do tactically uh, he played in the midfield, 16 club, one goal, two assists, 7-0 average rating. He played center back for two, uh, 7-2-0 average rating. So he's built that center back option up. Nice vers versatility there. Internationally, 77 appearances, 10 goals, 18 assists as a, a midfield center, 7-0-9 average rating. So yeah, his versatility has definitely climbed. I'm wondering why he's not in a DM role at all. But midfield, center back. Whatever. As long as he's getting on the pitch and getting some game time is all I care about. As you can see, one long-term plan. Would like to be one day captain of the club. So I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, his leadership is 15, so possibly. But he's only been there for two years. Uh, probably needs to give it another year or so and see. And by then he may be a little too old. But that is it for me. For Sievert Mansberg, Safian FM, the Football Manager blog channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.